What's good, everybody? Dust Kicks here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing a comparison on the first and the newer batch of the Jordan 1 Reimagined Royals. Let's go ahead and check them out. Alright guys, so this updated pair is from Coco Sneakers. If you don't know who they are, you probably should. I'm going to go ahead and put their information right here on the screen so you can go ahead and check them out. The first things first, we have the box. Now the old unupdated batch was just the regular Jordan 1 box with black and Nike and the swoosh on top in red. Now lately we've been getting newer Jordan 1 boxes that are kind of customized to be kind of for that specific Jordan 1 colorway. So for the Royals, we have a black box with Nike and the swoosh on top in a more, it's like a shinier, less matte blue. As far as accessories go, both of them came with an extra set of blue laces. This is the non-updated one and this is the updated one. You can see it is a little brighter here on the on non-updated one and the updated one is a little more, I wanna say kind of just darker. I don't know if it shows up on camera, but in hand you can see this one is definitely more vibrant. Getting into the actual shoes, the left is going to be the non-updated batch and the right is the updated batch. First thing we'll check out are the black parts. That's gonna be the black nubuck. So that's the ankle collar here, as well as the hit here, down the lace guard, side panels, and around the toe box. Now, feeling them side by side in comparison, it is a lot softer here on the updated batch than on the non-updated batch. Non-updated batch basically just feels like regular smooth leather it doesn't feel like there's going to be any movement or any softness to it compared to the new and the updated one next you're going to look at the blue suede once again it is it looks more rough and you can have a little bit more movement than on the older non-updated batch now this one has movement it just seems like it's a little easier here it also feels like the blue is maybe more vibrant or bright on the non-updated one than the updated one but again even right here in hand, it is really, really hard to kind of pick up the difference in the blue. So that might just be my eyes fucking with me. Something really important I want to pick out is the Wings logo. Now, you can see it's a little more bold. It's also a little bigger and wider as far as length, I guess, for this one than on the updated one. It's also got the wrong placement. So it should not point to the top lace hole. It should point to the bottom lace hole like this one over here is doing. It is also, you can see, like I said, a smaller Wings logo, a little more tiny, like some of the new Jordan ones have been. Another thing I want to point out is the swoosh. This swoosh over here, it's pointing straight up. I don't, that just happens. It's a thing that happens with Jordan ones all the time. But the swoosh is a little smaller, like the older Jordan ones, than the newer 2023 version of Jordan ones, where it's got a slightly more enlarged swoosh, which personally for me, being a fan of like 85s and stuff, I think that's a really dope kind of detail that they changed same with the wings logo love the placement for the midsoles again i'm not sure if it really picks up on camera for me in my eyes this is a little bit more of an off-white it's really really close and i'm not even sure you can really tell but this is more of an off-white and this is a clean straight white here more on the updated pair taking a look at the midsoles the top is going to be the updated batch the bottom is the non-updated batch I don't know if you can see once again the color translating on camera but the bottom is a little bit more vibrant than the top the updated pair you still have the nike hit there on the center so nothing changed as far as the mold just a little bit of that color moving on to the toe box left being the updated pair right being the unupdated pair you can kind of see a little bit of difference in blue once again unless side by side it is really really hard to tell and even then the human eye can only see so much but you still have some movement it does feel a little rougher on the non-updated batch than the updated one it is a little softer here then you have black laces by default nothing too crazy there same goes for the nylon tongue you can see the tongue tag there it is a little higher here for some reason going over the top that does happen on jordan one so not a big deal but that's on the non-updated one same kind of tongue tag black with the nike air and swoosh in that blue color 
not really sure 100% if it's different colors. It is kind of hard once again to pick up. Coming to the inside of the shoes, the right is going to be the updated pair. The left is going to be the non-updated pair. You can see the padding is a little more predominant in the updated one than the non-updated one. You can see the mesh is a little thicker, which makes the shoe comfier. So that's probably a plus. You can see the insole there is black with Nike the Swoosh and Air in blue. It's kind of hard to pick up on the camera because it wants to get the laces, but it does seem more vibrant than the one over here. The one over here looks like it is more shiny for some reason. Not sure if that's just the way they put it on, but it is still blue with Nike and the Swoosh and Air in blue. Coming over to the back side, the left is going to be non-updated. The right is going to be updated. You can already see there's a difference in color for the suede. It is a little bit more movement on the updated one than the non-updated one. It is softer here in the back for some reason on the non-updated than the updated. But you can see there's more of that like hair and stuff like that. Then you can see the ankle collar and stuff up here. Once again, you can kind of see that there's even movement right here on the black nubuck or suede or whatever that is. It's, I don't know if you can pick that up on camera, but it's pretty easy movement. You can't really get that for the non-updated pair. It basically just feels like smooth leather. Medial side to finish it all off. The left is going to be the updated pair this time. The right is going to be the non-updated pair. Big differences that I want to point out, just like the lateral side, is the materials that they used on this, the non-updated pair, are not as soft as the materials that they use on the updated pair. Also, the color difference, it is more vibrant one with the unupdated one than the updated pair. Same goes for the movement here in the actual new book or sweater or whatever you want to call it. And then the last thing, something big that I want to point out is the swoosh. On the newer pairs, the 2023 pairs, the swoosh is a little more close to the 85 swoosh or 94 swoosh, whichever one you want to go with, where it is a little bit enlarged compared to this one right here, which hopefully you can see on camera pretty well, is a big difference in size and it is much smaller and pretty much close to the older pre-2023 Jordan 1s. All right, so I've seen these get a lot of hate. And while I understand everybody wants them to retro and re-release the all leather Jordan 1 Royals like the OG pair was, to me personally, it gets kind of boring. Now, we saw that release last in 2017, I believe. So it's been about five, six years or so, but still, come on. Like, it's really, really nice to see something reimagined. And I like that line because obviously it's not the leather one, it's suede and nubuck, but it's a nice change. It's a nice switch up. Why would we wanna see the same Jordan just keep releasing and releasing? But then there's so many people that also argue that Jordan brand doesn't have any creativity and they keep re-releasing the same thing, it's really a hit or miss. Like Jordan brand can't do the right thing no matter what in everybody's eyes. So why would they not want to give you options? You could still go buy the leather one. You could buy a reps of the leather ones if you want. It doesn't matter. You're all good to go on that. 2017 was only, like I said, six years ago. So it's not like all pairs are gonna be beat to hell if that's what you're worried about. But for people like me who do like to see a little bit of variety and a little bit of difference in our pairs, this really hits home. I do like that they changed it to suede. It's not super, super fuzzy suede for people that kind of bitch about that, but it's also not just dead flat suede. The new buck is also nice and soft. It's a nice contrast. It's not all suede. It has a little bit of mixture in materials. The clean white midsole, the blue outsole. Personally, I just think these are a hit and I'm actually curious to see if they sit or not. All right, guys, I think that's it for me today. I really do appreciate you guys coming over the channel and hanging out for a bit. Until next time, I'm Dustin for Kicks. Peace.